Hey everyone, Mr. Bruss here again. Uh, I got another reading strategy I'm going to tell you about, and my dog, Swarly, is here to help me with it. So our reading strategy today is going to be a reading strategy to help students of all ages with their comprehension and understanding of a story. So it's a very simple strategy I have. Um, parents and guardians, it's great for you to use this as you read with your children. Um, the strategy is just simply to ask, what are you thinking? So as your child is reading any article, a book, or anything like that, just ask them, what are you thinking? And you don't have to wait till the end of it. Uh, a lot of times when we're doing assignments, we always look at the questions that our teachers have asked us to fill in. On page 27, the character does this. Why? Well, this strategy, don't wait to, till the end just to answer it. You can ask it all the time. Ask it at the end of a paragraph. Ask it in the middle of a, of a page. Ask it at the end of pages. The more you ask it, the better. And the reason asking what are you thinking is good because it allows your child to have a chance to verbally speak what they are thinking in their brains. A lot of times we forget that speaking can help us understand as well. Uh, listening, reading, and speaking all go together in the comprehension of a story. So I'm going to kind of show how this works um, with this story. This story is called What If You Had T-Rex Teeth? Great series. There's many books in this series and they're really fun for kids. So I'm going to read a page out of here and then show you what I mean if I ask, what are you thinking? So this page is Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it says, Tyrannosaurus Rex was a meat-eating dinosaur with a mouth full of around 67 inch long teeth. Its teeth were thick and slightly curved. Plus, each tooth had sharp, jagged edges like a steak knife. When a T-Rex closed its jaws, its upper and lower teeth locked like fingers lacing together. Scientists also believe this dino's jaw muscles slammed its mouth shut with bone-busting force. That's probably why scientists have found bones from other dinosaurs with T-Rex bite marks on it. So I just read this paragraph here, and now I'm going to stop and ask, What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Now the reader, they might tell you something like, I know it talked about the bones, and imagine how many bones I could eat if I was a dinosaur. Yeah, if I had a T-Rex mouth, I could eat a lot of dinosaur bones. Uh, the reason that asking that question is so fun is it can open up a discussion between you and your child, too. Well, why do you think it'd be great to have a T-Rex's teeth and mouth? Why would that be great? Because I get to eat so many bones. Oh, yeah, and you get to see how they're making those connections to their everyday life or how they're making connections to things they've read or seen before. So it's a lot of fun to see how it opens up. Um, another example of that could be if you're reading this book, and maybe the picture. Here it talks about uh, they're comparing the Ankylosaurus to a hockey player. Now if you're a sports fan, you might your child might go, oh, I'm a hockey player. I want to see how that connects. Yeah, I got a really hard shot too, and looks like Ankylosaurus does too. So it opens up your child to have discussions and communicate with you and show you how they're understanding what they're reading. By asking, what are you thinking? It allows me as the adult to also see, are they understanding the story? Are they comprehending what I want them to do? Or did they read it a completely different way that I didn't see it as? Maybe I learned from them. So asking, what are you thinking? Can allow you to listen to your child and to allow to see as a quick check. Are they reading it and are they understanding it? Uh, sometimes a common thing that does happen, um, I want parents and guardians to be aware of this, is your child might just say exactly what they just read. So if they just read Tyrannosaurus was a meat-eating dinosaur, they might just say Tyrannosaurus rex was a meat-eating dinosaur. Well, this gives you a chance to lead the discussion then and be like, oh, what, what was a meat-eating dinosaur again? And then maybe your child can tell you what that means, and then your discussion can go from there. And that allows you to see if your child's understanding and allows them to show that I understood it, I comprehended what I read, and I know this about it. It gets them more engaged and more excited about it too. So simply asking, what are you thinking as you read a story can open up so much discussion and so much comprehension for your child.